What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So we were camping uh, last week up in the Yellowstone area and while we're sitting there just having a good time around the campfire, just chit-chatting, we had some music obviously in the background, but everybody started to kind of get sick of my music taste and they wanted to start playing their music. So instead of disconnecting the speaker system from my phone and pairing it up to a new phone and doing all of that kind of stuff, I was introduced to a new feature or newish feature called the group session. What this allows you to do is somebody creates a session on Spotify app and then they can invite up to seven different people and everybody can kind of add their own playlist or add their own songs to that and you guys kind of have a mix of everybody's music taste which is really fun and really cool to you. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use that, how to set it up, how to kind of control everything, how to move things around, etc. Also this is only for premium and it is also currently in beta and it only works if you're on like some type of application. So like on a mobile application, like a tablet or your phone, it's currently not available to start on a PC, but once it's been started by somebody else or even your mo own mobile app, you can then start adding things from a PC. So there's kind of some, some uh, caveats or some setbacks with it, but it's currently in beta, so you might see some bugs and hopefully as it develops, we'll see it come to the PC platform. But until then, let's go ahead and jump into the video and show you guys how to use this cool little feature. Okay, so like I said, fire up your Spotify app on your mobile device, your tablet, phone, etc., whatever, and then just choose a song to start playing in order to be able to create a remote session. Once you've got the song either playing or you've got it highlighted on the home screen like this, you can actually tap on this little gray like speaker slash computer icon, and that's gonna bring you into your current device where you can start a group session. If you don't see it there, if you actually just tap on the song down in the bottom left, uh, it's right here, you can tap on it there as well. Once you're in this screen, just tap on where it says start a remote group session. It's gonna say who's listening. It's going to allow you to invite up to seven friends. You can tap on this and you can send them the link via text messages, messenger, whatever other third party app that you have. You can tap on more and if it's in there, you can send it via that communication as well. As they start accepting that link or that invite, they're gonna show up under the participants section right here and you can see who's adding stuff to it. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the little back arrow and then we're also going to tap on the little X arrow right here and you can go in and start finding songs that you want to add. So if you just go into your library, your playlist, whatever, let's go into like Daily Mix 1. We're just gonna start scrolling through here and finding some songs that we want to add to this list. Let's do, um, let's do Cold from Crossfade. You, there's two ways that you can do this. You can tap the three dots on the side and tap on where it says Add to Queue, and it will say Added to Queue, or if we find another one, you can actually swipe right. You can see that, swipe right, and that will also add it to the queue. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Now, if you wanna see what people are sending or what people are adding to it you can actually just tap the music itself now under the song itself not the group session part but if you look at this little like oval with the two lines underneath it you can tap it and you can see what's being shown in the queue so you can see next in queue is cold and then dangerous currently playing and then if nobody's adding anything it's automatically going to start pulling from some of the hosts playlists or the daily mixes, anything that they have liked or whatever, it's going to start curating some random uh, songs from there. So you can go through and kind of look at those as well. If you are looking through those and you do find one that you like, you can tap the bar or tap the little, uh, little circle on the right and you can click on add to queue. And if we scroll up, you can see that it's been added to queue as well. Uh, if you press and hold, you can actually see that we can move what order the songs are playing in. Now this only does work for the host, only the host is able to move things around. That way you don't have like six other people trying to get their song to play next. Uh, if you want it to obviously play next, then just tell your host that you want to play the song next and I'm sure they'll do it. But that's how you do that. If you select multiples, you can remove them. Again, you can add them to the queue again. If you decide that you don't want anything in this list, you can click on where it says clear queue. That will clear the queue and everybody can kind of start from a fresh batch. So if we tap on here, we'll do add to queue. If you tap on multiples, you can actually tap on remove. You can remove them from uh, the next from, or if you tap on it here, you can remove from there. Well, that will remove it from the queue as well. If you're done with the session, you no longer want to use it. If we go back and you tap on where it says group session underneath, you can then tap on end session, hit confirm and you've ended that session. In order to start a new one, you can just start a new one and send a new link. 
So that's all there is to it. Like I said, just a quick reminder, it only works for some type of mobile uh, tablet or your phone, and it is only available to premium users. If you don't have premium, you will not be able to access this feature, at least to my knowledge. Um, but other than that, it's a fun little thing. We had a good time with it, adding everybody's music taste and having a good time. Um, but that's gonna wrap up this week's video. If you guys like this feature, let me know down in the comments. If you guys liked the video, if you got something out of it, you guys also know what to do. That being said, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.